What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's a boy Shiggy as usual. What it really do, baby? I hope y'all are blessed. I hope everybody's good and positive and happy and making the best out of the big pandemic the world is going through and all that type of stuff. I just hope everybody's happy and still maintaining a positive attitude and all that good stuff. I'm so excited to be making this video guys, just like I'm excited to make every video for you guys. I'm super excited because this is one of my most frequently asked questions and everybody kind of asks why do I use this software that everybody kind of does not like, which is Epson Scan. Why do I still use Epson Scan slash Epson Scan 2? But before we get started with that topic I have some really good news to share with you guys on what is gonna be the direction for the channel in the next couple months and for the rest of the year so the good news I'm gonna be doing photo vlogs again things are starting to reopen and people are starting to be allowed to be outside which is really good because I've been dying to shoot and also like you know just enjoy walking outside and you know not necessarily interacting because it doesn't mean that you should have gatherings and completely like think that is all completely done that is not the case you still got to do social distancing, but you are allowed to be outside, which is beautiful because I've been dying to just make photos and walk around the street and all that type of stuff. So, new photo vlogs coming soon. That was a lot to say. I had a coffee, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm like super hyper right now. Super duper hyper. But let's get to the topic now. Why do I choose to use Epson Scan instead of Silverfast slash Negative Lab Pro slash View Scan. Why do I choose to use Epson? The number one reason, guys, why I choose to use Epson Scan is because of consistency. And number two is because of my style. Let me explain. The thing that I've realized that using different scanning programs is that sometimes when you make a scan, it's, there's no consistency in the results. So the results are great, the results are good, but there's no consistency with what I am getting. So Epson Scan, for me, with my experience, I've come to realize that no matter what you do, no matter how your photo looks, it will always have the same look to it in terms of colors and the way it just scans things. And that is a huge, huge key for me guys because I have found my style and it's very important that I stay consistent producing the same style and have my scan program produce the same colors and also have my scanner produce the same colors. That is very, very, very big key to me because I found my style. And I found that a lot of other programs, they do not give me consistency, like I said. Like for example, Silverfast, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of options to select from therefore if I know I like to move my my reds or my sliders this way or that way and you know it, there's just too many options I don't know if that makes any sense but I'll try my best to elaborate too many sliders <laughs> means too many things to remember or too many things to play with and when you have too many things to play with it just complicates things and you're unable to not unable to but it's a lot harder to produce the same results because you just have too many things to remember it is a big problem because when I want to go scan I just want to be like boom 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 and get it done because one I already hate editing and two I already hate scanning and three I do not want to have a long scanning process and I do not want to be annoyed when my colors are not looking proper because I might have you know changed the scene or underexposed something Epson scan is just literally flattens the images that's pretty much all I've seen and from all my research and all my my videos that I've watched on the internet Epson scan scans are usually flatter that is pretty much it the lack a lot of color which is great for me because I actually do my adjustments in Lightroom and a little bit in Epson scan so consistency is a very very important guys like I cannot stress how important it is because that's how you get clients and you need to make sure that your program you love using it it makes you want to scan and you are able to be consistent with it and it makes your job easy the whole point of this video guys is not to say use Epson scan because 
that is not the case. That is not the idea. It's to just encourage you guys to not worry about what program you're using in order to get a certain result because it's more about you as a creator and how you see colors and how you want to edit. So the reason why, again, I use Epson Scan is because I just know it and it has less buttons for me to click and I like the way it the results turn out. That's pretty much it. And guys, I have used Silverfast and I have used ViewScan and I have used Negative Lab Pro. Those those programs just give me a different process. Like for example, Negative Lab Pro. I have to scan it as a positive and then convert it into a negative. To me, that is too much of a complicated process. I just want to stick it in my printer, hit the scan button and voila here's how it comes out and boom and then i go and dash it into lightroom and then start working about working on my colors in lightroom other people like editing from from the scan program and everyone is different but again it comes down to what you're comfortable with for me digital ice and multi editing and you know like presets don't matter to me like that those things don't matter but if they matter to you then by all means if that is what you need to produce those colors and to be consistent and to make you want to scan more and shoot more and do more work then go use that that is the whole point of this video guys that do not worry too much about the program do not worry too much about um it goes again to tie with cameras do not worry about oh this person's using an rz to get these these colors so i'm going to use an rz Z and I'm gonna get those colors that's not the case that person just uses that because they like that I use the RB because that was the first camera I wanted because I, I didn't I couldn't afford an RZ I couldn't afford a Pentax 67 or a Hasselblad so I went and picked up an RB67 because it is pretty much like the RZ so that's why I picked it and it just so happens that I kind of inspired other people to take the same route tying into the program once again use a program that you want to use guys and a program that gives you consistency and a program that you love that makes you want to work those are the most important things and this is why I use Epson scan but with that being said guys I'm not completely close to all of these other programs I am still willing and still looking for a process that is faster and will give me the exact same results because I'm not gonna stunt my growth comment down below and let me know what program you use and why you use it and how it could possibly benefit me from what I have shared with you guys and the things that matter to me so if you have a program suggestion it might it doesn't need to be any of these that I have mentioned but yeah if you have a different process comment down below and let me know what your process is I'm actually very interested to know what you guys think and why you guys use other programs but this is why I use uh, Epson scan slash Epson scan 2 yeah so I'm pretty excited I love topics like this because they they open up discussions for you know beginner film photographers that are literally looking to know what to use or you know why to pick something and you guys could help those people join our community and to also like help them want to shoot more you know what I mean so let's help each other out comment down below comment why you use the program that you use it doesn't even if it's Epson scan tell me why you use it I don't care I want to know so comment down below let's have a discussion and yeah I'm pretty excited to talk about this topic because it's finally like I finally touched on it I get so many questions about it and yeah I'm super excited I hope everybody's safe guys and I hope COVID-19 did not affect you as as crazy as been affecting a lot of people around the world and I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys still continue to also quarantine until we have a vaccine guys I hope you guys just you know continue having great hygiene washing your hands and sanitizing and all that type of stuff I don't want nothing to happen to you guys because I love you and you guys are so incredible and I want to meet you guys one day so yeah with that being said follow me on Instagram at shot by Shingy. check out my portfolio shot by I still have not updated but I'm gonna find a day that I've updated because I'm so lazy to and 
yeah yeah pretty much <laughs> and and also check out my brand at waybetterco.com if you want to help support me it really helps me out guys it really helps the channel out you know i spend money on film and all that type of stuff and it really helps me out and yeah you don't really need to but it, again it just helps me out as a creative as one of you guys but last but not least i'm so happy and proud to say that we have a 600 followers on we photo gods and we're averaging a hundred likes per photo and i've been hearing that you guys have been getting a lot of follows from we photo gods and i'm so happy and i'm so grateful guys we photo gods is for you guys and i'm gonna finish what i wanted to say first last but not least follow and hashtag at we photo gods if you want me to check out your photos and to repost them to 600 followers i'd love to check out your photo and again Again, potentially repost it to support you guys it's my way of giving back and again to give you guys exposure and yeah I'm gonna go have another coffee and be more hyper <laughs> oh god if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you don't hit the dislike button it's all bueno and if you want to help out and let me know why then comment down below if not then it is all good that's why the dislike button is there for and thank you guys i love you guys you guys are so awesome i'm so excited to be doing photo vlogs it's the boy shiggy douche